This is the hardest prison in Minecraft. I hired a professional builder to make me the most insane, challenging, and difficult prison ever. And after giving him all my money, he sent me the prison. And when I spawned in, I started on the corner of this giant room. And since there was nothing next to me, I decided to just jump down. And the first thing I noticed was this elder guardian that was trapped in a water cage. And when I opened my inventory, I found out that the elder guardian gave me mining fatigue for forever. So that means we weren't able to break any blocks like glass or chests. And the way to escape the prison was through this one by one hole. But I had no idea how we were supposed to fit inside. So right now, our goal is to find items to be able to fit through. And the only thing on this side of the room was a sheep in a torture chamber and two more sheeps on the other side of this giant lava path. And in the middle of the lava path was a sticky piston. But I had no idea why I needed to get sheep. And when I counted the sheep, I found out that there was three. And that's when I realized exactly what I had to do with them. If I was able to get all of their wool, I could turn it into a bed. And I could place the bed into this other room and set my spawn point here and then jump into the lava. And when I respawn, I would be sent to the next room. So right now, our goal is to get to those sheep. So the first thing I did was open this chest, but inside was nothing. So we had to keep looking around. And the only other thing in this room to explore was this giant, obvious lava waterfall. So there had to be something behind it. So I started to right-click all throughout it to try and look for any hidden chests or hoppers. And after a lot of struggle, I finally found one piece of redstone dust inside, which at the moment was completely useless. Because how was one piece of redstone dust supposed to help me get to those sheep? But that's when I realized that if we were able to activate this piston, we can parkour over to the sheep and get their wool. And all we needed to power it was one stick to make a redstone torch. So I started to look around to try and find a stick. So I've been here for 10 minutes and I have not been able to find a stick. I am beginning to lose hope. I've searched through every single corner of this room. And I'm not sure if the building designer messed anything up, but I don't think he put a stick in this prison. But as I was talking, I noticed something. Behind the chest, there looked to be something that was brown. And when I angled my mouse perfectly and right clicked, it was actually a barrel and inside of it was a stick. And that was perfect because now I could craft a redstone dust and the stick into a redstone torch. And I could place the redstone torch next to the piston and parkour over to the sheep. And these sheep were named your short, but which is just not true. I am above average. They call me average man. But the only thing I could do with these sheep were beat them. They deserve this for calling me short. But now we had two out of the three wool we needed. And all that we had to do now was somehow get to this last sheep. But it seemed impossible because this sheep was covered by glass in the chest. And since we had the mining fatigue forward, there was no way we could just break it. So I tried to see if there was anything hidden behind the chest, just like the barrel. And I actually did find something. I found a hopper, but there was nothing inside. So I kept looking around to see if there was anything I was missing. And I found a hidden hopper at the edge of the lava. And inside was three oak planks. So with the two wool and the three oak planks, all we needed now was one more piece of wool to craft a bed. But I couldn't find any way to get to the sheep until I hit F5. And when I hit F5, I noticed something for a split second. There was a button above the last sheep. But from where we were standing, there was no way we could hit it. But if we jumped off this block, we would be able to hit that button. So I stood on the edge of the block and sprinted and I hit the button. And the button killed the sheep and dropped his wool into the chest. So now we had the three wool and the three oak planks we needed to craft a bed. But now we had to look for a crafting table. But up till now, I have not seen a single one in this room. And that's because the only crafting table was actually outside of the room. But we were actually able to reach it from where we were. If we crouch all the way to the edge of this corner, we're able to open the crafting table. And now we would be able to make the bed. So I placed the bed inside the next room and right clicked on it to set my spawn. And then I ran into the lava and jumped inside. And when I hit respawn, I was into the next room. And this next room looked a lot more difficult than the last one. There was only one room and one wall of glass with a pressure plate on the other side. But before I went into the room, I tried to mine the crafting table, but then I remembered that we had the mining fatigue. And even though we were so far away from the guardian, its effects still lasted in here. So I went into the only room that was here. And in this room, the floor was completely made out of glass with one cobblestone block and underneath the glass, one golden pressure plate. And there seemed to be a maze between this block and the gold pressure plate. But I had no idea what we were supposed to do because we still had mining fatigue. So we couldn't just mine this cobblestone block. But while I was looking around the room, I noticed that there was a hopper on the top corner. And inside the hopper was a blaze rod. But I was still completely lost. The exit to this room seemed to be right in front of me. And to reach up here, I would need three blocks to build up. But all I have right now is a blaze rod. So we had to somehow find three blocks. But the only block I could see was this cobblestone block. But when I punched it, something crazy happened. It turned into a silverfish. And that's because this wasn't any normal cobblestone. It was actually actually an infested block. And when you punch infested blocks, they turn into silverfish. So I did the only thing that I could, and that was to lead the silverfish to the golden pressure plate. And when he hit the pressure plate, something activated. And when I went back to the main room, I noticed that there was a whole new area 
open. The silverfish hitting the pressure plate opened up this bedrock area with a chest inside. And inside the chest was three bottles of enchanting, which I was pretty confused as to why we needed it. Because we didn't need three bottles of enchanting. We need three blocks to be able to climb up here. And now all that we had left was this glass wall with the pressure plate inside and these three bottles of enchanting. And that's when I realized what we had to do. Pressure plates can be activated by entities. And when you throw a bottle of enchanting, it drops an XP orb. And XP orbs are actually considered an entity. So if I'm able to throw one inside here, I could lead the XP orb all the way to the pressure plate and activate whatever the pressure plate does. So I threw the first bottle of enchanting and I missed. But when I threw the second one, it actually made it inside the glass. So now I slowly moved alongside the wall until the XP orb made it all the way into the wooden pressure plate. And the XP orb activated the wooden pressure plate. And when it activated, three dirt blocks appeared out of the floor. And these three dirt blocks were exactly enough for me to climb into the next room. And in this room, there seemed to be no exit to it. We were on a platform of bedrock in between a lot of lava. And on the other side of the lava was a brewing stand. And when I turned around, I found a barrel and inside was three pieces of glass. And if I placed the three pieces of glass, it wouldn't be enough to get to the brewing stand. So we had to find another way to get there. And since we had a blaze rod from earlier and three glass and a brewing stand, that would probably mean we would have to make a bottle. And on both sides of the room, there was three holes with lava inside. And so I right clicked on each of them to see if there was any hidden hoppers or chests behind them. And I found an item hopper with the nether wart inside. And then when I checked the other side, I right clicked on all of the lava waterfalls, but I wasn't able to find anything else. So I decided to go into F5 to see if there was anything hidden. And when I did, there looked to be something behind this one lava waterfall, but I couldn't tell what it was. It looked to be like a hopper, but when I right clicked it, it didn't open. So it had to be something else that had the same colors of a hopper. But for now, we weren't able to access it. But I continued to click around the lava to try and find any hoppers or any chests. And when I did, I found a boat. And using this boat, we would be able to parkour all the way to the other side. And I was about to place the boat on the lava so I would jump on it and get to the next room. But if we did that, the boat would burn and we would not be able to use it again. So then I had the idea of jumping off and placing the boat in the room and then clutching inside the room. And we only had one shot at this and if we messed it up, we would die. So I took a step back and ran in and I kind of missed the boat, but I was able to get inside with barely any hearts left and I survived. And this room was completely empty except for a brewing stand and just a bunch of wood. And when I broke the boat, I noticed that this piece of wood under the brewing stand looked different than the rest. And when I right clicked it, it actually was the top of a barrel. And inside the barrel was a slime ball. So now the items we had was a nether wart, a blaze rod, and a slime ball. And using all of these items, we could actually make a potion. If we turn our blaze rod into two blaze powder, we can use our slime ball and a blaze powder to make a magma cream. But we still had a big problem. We needed a glass bottle to make any type of potion. And we had the glass to do it, but we didn't have a crafting table. And that's when I noticed the roof above us was all oak wood, but it actually wasn't. When I right clicked on it, it turned out to be a bottom of a crafting table. And so I crafted my three glass bottles. But then we had another problem. We need to get water to put in the glass bottles. And so far, I have not seen water at all in this prison. So I was trying to think of where there could be water or a cauldron or anything like that. And that's when I remembered about the unknown gray block. Maybe that block was actually a cauldron. So I took a step back and parkour back into the main area. And I pulled out my glass bottles and I right clicked on it. And it was actually a cauldron filled with water up there. So then I broke the boat again and parkour back over. And now using all the items we had, we can make a fire resistance potion. So I put my blaze powder and my water bottle in the brewing stand. Then I put my nether wart to change the water bottle into an awkward potion. And then I took my magma cream to make the awkward potion into a fire resistance potion. But I had no idea where I needed to go with this fire resistance potion. So I just drank it and jumped inside the lava. And after walking around for a little bit to try and find the secret entrance or a secret hole, I was finally able to find one. And it led me down to this brand new room. And this room had something I've never seen before. There was a bed, a chest, and a hallway with water inside. And when I opened the chest, it had a map. And when I opened the map, it was actually a drawing of what we had to do. On this map, it said, remember the path with a start and finish sign on it. And we must be at the start and we have to somehow get all the way to the finish. And when I took the map out of the chest, I noticed that a netherite block spawned in. And when I opened the chest and put the map back inside, the netherite block disappeared. So that means that this map is probably a guide to get us through this water. But the catch is we're not able to bring the map with us because the map has to be in this chest for us to even be able to do it. And this bed must be for us to set our spawn because we're gonna probably die a lot. I'm not gonna lie, I dropped out of school to make videos and my brain power and my memory is completely gone. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna memorize this. So it kind of looks like a little U and then like another U and then like a right and then up. That was a very good explanation. So I put the map back into the chest and another right block went down. Then I hopped inside the water and I started swimming and I went down and then I made the first U-turn and then I went down the line and then I made the second U-turn. But when I made the second U-turn, it was a dead end and there was no more use to turn. And that's when I ran out of air and it
it turns out you actually need air to survive. And my hearts kept going down and down and I could not find the exit anywhere. And after struggling for a little bit, I drowned. But when I respawned, I respawned at the bed we were in. And before I went back, I decided to look at the map again. And I realized I did not go the right way at all. When I went, I had zero mental image of what the map looked like. I just went. But this time, I was actually going to use my brain. So I put the map back in and I ran to the water with it fresh in my brain. And I went down and I did the first U. And then I went down the path. And then I took the first right. And then I took a left and I made it to the exit. And I somehow did that a lot easier than the first time. And this room was interesting because it was just an empty box. And the sign said, make it up before the time runs out. Starts after opening the first box. And the boxes that it was talking about was these shulker boxes. There seemed to be around 10 shulker boxes. And I decided to open the bottom one. And when I did, the lanterns on the side of the wall started to light up until it hit the top. And when it hit the top, it killed me. This was my biggest fear. This room was based on something I didn't have. Skill. I was just average man. I'm not a skill man. I can't do this. And it also respawned me all the way back to this room. So I hopped back into the water and did the same use and the same rights and the same lefts until I made it back into that room. And I think I kind of understood what we had to do. We had to open the shulker and when it pushes out, we have to jump on it. And then we have to parkour all the way up before this timer hits the top. And I'm hoping there's like a deactivator button up there so it doesn't kill me. So this time I lied myself in between the bedrock and the shulker box and I jumped and I right clicked and I kept doing it and I tried to be on a steady pace so I wouldn't mess up. And it honestly wasn't that hard. All you had to do was be on a steady pace and just not die. But we made it to the top and I looked for the lever and I hit it and it stopped the kill timer and it brought us to this room and at the end of it was a sign that said the exit. So that means freedom was literally right there. But the only things here were a piston and on the other side a hay block. And when I broke the hay block, I realized we didn't have mining fatigue like before. So we were now able to break and place blocks. But for us to build out and escape, we would need at least seven blocks. And right now, all we have is two. But if we mine the crafting table, we're gonna have three. And when I mined the crafting table, I found a hopper underneath with a trident inside, which wasn't a block and wasn't gonna help us get up. So I had no idea what we were supposed to do with it. There seems to be nothing else in this room. And I try to right click around to see if there was any fake or hidden blocks, but I didn't find anything. But I found something else. I found that there was a hopper next to the lever and inside was a slime block and four redstone dust. And these items seemed kind of random, but they weren't. If we use our crafting table, we can use our hay bale and these four redstone to make a target block. And if we place our piston, break this sign, place the slime block on top, place the target block next to the piston and throw our trident, we can escape the prison. Right now we're in a race to 500,000 subscribers. So if you enjoyed these videos, subscribe.